All right, I'm gonna do a test I've been wanting to do for a while. I have my solar system here, which has 5,280 watts of solar collectively, but it's split up into two separate systems. On the left here, the driver's side, we actually have um, this all connected in series. So there's six panels all connected in series. On this side, I have three panels connected in series um, and then I connect those in parallel. So a series parallel arrangement on, on the passenger side. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to see the, the output. There's no, nothing shaded. Um, this side's actually a little bit cleaner than this side. But I'm going to take this towel right here and throw it on top of the panel as though it is, you know, you have some obstruction where you're camping and there's some shade. And I want to see what happens. And so I've actually already done this and the results were actually very surprising to me. So stick around, hope you enjoy. This is something that I wish I would have had someone explain to me before, but we're gonna find out what the change in, in power output is. Right now, the sun's shining on my solar panels and I'm getting practically the exact same uh, wattage coming in from either, um, either solar system. But what I wanted to try here is kind of demonstrate for you what happens, the difference between um, what happens when there's shade on a series uh, set of panels versus a series parallel. So right now, looks like we're just about balanced between the two of them. It's kind of fluctuating back and forth. I'm going to throw a towel and I'm going to cover about maybe two, maybe a square foot between a square foot and two square feet of one panel. And let's see what happens. Okay. So I have literally covered not even two square feet of one panel and I have lost almost 300 Watts now yeah, 200 Watts. Um, that is the one that I, on charge controller A is actually the series. So all the way, all of them are connected in series. So how much was that? Looks like about 200 watts was lost. All right, now I'm throwing it over on the other one. Let's see what we get lose. It should be about 100 watts. That's about, what is that, 200? Okay, we're looking about the same. Interesting. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. All right, so 1922, 21, 16. Over here. Well, look at that, staying at about the same. So for my test here, I was expecting that the, the one in series would be more than, or more of a loss than the series parallel, but I'm not seeing that. So let's just take it off. Here's our constant, no shade. Everything looks about the same. Yeah, they're about the exact same. So to be honest with you, um, charge controller B is actually a little dirtier than charge controller A, but I mean, they're, they're sixes. I mean, there's not much difference there. Huh? This is very intriguing. All right. I just covered B a little bit. Yeah. Interesting. So if anyone can explain to me why that happens, in series parallel, it should not to have that effect. But I don't know. You tell me. I'm curious. I'm learning this uh, right alongside everybody else. So I'd love to know what you think. Man, look at that. That's really dropping down. Wow, interesting. 
Ah, wow, that's really down there. All right, let's do this one now. Now I've covered A. And how they even cares. <laughs> Interesting. Well, it's back down to the 200 thing. $200, 200 drop. Let's go back over here. Man, interesting. Okay, well, that's uh, there you go. So I'm seeing at least from my experiments here that when there's shade on a panel, I'm losing more on the series parallel than I am on the series. So, hmm, good to know. If anyone can explain to me why that is, it looks like there's a 400 watt difference when it's series parallel. And then when I cover the series, here it goes again. It ends up being about 200 watts. So if anyone can explain to me what's going on there, that would be helpful. Thanks.